sure they're not home. Of course I'm sure. I heard my mother on the phone. Hey, look, maybe we I shouldn't be doing this. I said I heard my mother on the phone. The Millers asked their neighbors to take in the papers from us. Maybe we should come back later. Cut the babies, Maria. We say it, we do it. We know the rules. Oh, here it is. I told you. All right. Now follow me and shut up. <laughs> Check upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Go on. will quickly steep themselves in night. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. And then the moon, like to a silver bow, new bent in heaven, shall behold the night of our solemnity. Hold it, kid. Hold it right there. Now turn around. All right, start walking slowly toward me. I'm sorry, officer. The water just looks so smooth and beautiful. Never mind all that. Let's see some ID. Okay. She's got him hooked. Okay, now, Amy, the next time you decide to leave a school dance early, you try saying your poetry at home, okay? okay. Which one of these houses is yours? Okay, it's not, it's not this driveway here. It's the next driveway, and it's this big... House right this here. one? Yeah. Listen, thank you very much, because if my parents found out where you found me, they'd freak. I don't doubt it. Have a good night. Thank you, and you be careful. Okay. 11 o'clock, John. Oh. Well, it was just two minutes after. I want you to drive over to the school. Because there is no point in putting you. a stopwatch on her, Jane. Give her some room to breathe. Well, good evening, young lady. I know. I know, but Mrs. Crowley was driving right past our house, so uh... well, it makes sense. Saves gas, gives OPEC something to worry about. Who is Mrs. Crowley, dear? Oh, uh, Mrs. Crowley. Uh, her kids go to my school. They live over in Edgebrook. You said you would call your father. Mother, mellow out. I explained. Oh. Of course. There's always an explanation lately. Jane, you asked for an explanation, then you blame Amy when she has one. Perhaps it would be best if I didn't bother Amy with trivial details. But would you explain this? Where did you get this? This is an $80 sweater. It's like a real classic from the ruined shop I had spent my night, so she gave it to me. Is it big cash? Did she use a check? A credit card? She won it, Mother. There was some kind of raffle at the store. She gave it to me. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we called her parents? Oh, they might not realize what a generous daughter Oh, come on, Jane. The friend did a nice thing, gave her a gift, and you're not the effective case on this. I'm sorry, John. I don't mean to come on so strong. We set a plan. Oh, gentlemen, one of the finest. Jane, please. When I was little, we got along better. We loved each other more. Said I could have things when I grew up. 
like my own room. My own private room. Your phone was ringing. Rang for a dozen times at least. I thought it might be something important. That's the only reason I went in your room and saw the sweater. You promised me! her tantrums, John. You've just got to talk to her. All right, all right. Just let her simmer down. I'll, I'll handle it. I said I'll handle it. Yeah, yeah, you were cool. I really did OK. <laughs> no, no, you were good. Real good. Shut up, Vince. What? I got something big, and uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can handle it. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm positive. Come on, Vince, tell me. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Please. see here, Amy. Your mother had a simple, reasonable point. She uh, respects your privacy, but uh, the phone was ringing. I hate it when everyone turns on me like this. I think I'm entitled to at least a little privacy. I don't like to be the heavy, but I, I, I do think you were a little out of line. Oh, <laughs> look, honey, it, well, maybe we were a little uptight tonight. It's, it's nobody's fault. Why don't we just forget the whole thing, okay? I, um, I brought you something. I, I was going to give this to you on your birthday, but I think now is as good a time as any. Yeah. Remember when you were little, you would ask, who loves Amy tonight? Dad, it's my driving lessons. Mm -hmm. I know who loves Amy tonight. So tell me, how'd you manage to ditch the cops last night? Just told them I was bewitched by moonlight on water. Any heat at home? Poor mother, she's so boring. And your old man? He's cool, I, I guess. Oh, what's this? Private driving lessons. 10 sessions at 25 a pop. You said you had something to talk to me about. Yeah, I do, but the, the queen of the wetbacks here. Let me here. off, Ben. OK, OK, la senorita here. She have the dry back with the cold Look, feet. This is different, OK? You're talking hard stuff, and I don't do that. What is this I don't do that crap? Cigarettes, smog, booze, they're all killers. That doesn't stop the smart people from making the bucks. Well, then maybe I'm dumb, man. Maria, wait! Maria! Maria! Look, my father is sick, and my family needs me, Amy, OK? I need you, Maria. What about me? Since when did they do you any favors? Alive. Vince! Wait a minute. So how about you? Look, I don't know. OK, Wednesday we're buying, by Thursday we're dealing. I got the contracts confirmed up with all the supplies. We got a territory. So for starters, you got to miss school for a couple of days. Oh, wait a second. I don't think you I can to. do that. You got to. I'm depending on you. We've got a schedule to keep. Times, places, drops. Look, if it were just Daddy, then I'd... Call him your old man. He'd buy any excuse, but my mom, she's on my case. Well, you got what you call a challenge, good buddy. I'm sure you can handle it. Oh, Aunt Mary, thank you so much. Yeah, Mom really does need a few days' vacation. 
Don't tell her I suggested it. Promise? Okay. All right, I love you too. Bye bye. Did you get it? Yep. You did? <laughs> Larson, it's the only thing you can depend on. They bought the contract back for 50%, they'll sell it to some other sucker for the full price. Give me that. No, no, no. <laughs> Just what I said, okay. You still gonna do it? Of course I'm gonna do it. All right. My father will be talking to Miss Dale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. I just read Mom's note. She'll cheer Aunt Mary. Listen, I, I got a surprise for dinner. What's the matter, Dad? Does the name Vince Evers mean anything to you? Vince, um... Uh, yeah, he went to Fontana High last year. Don't play cat and mouse, Amy. A young lady from Quality Driving called me. She said this Evers cashed in the contract I bought for you. Oh, no. Do you mean to tell me they did? Do you know that they are Hold always... Hold it, hold it, Amy. Don't play games. She saw you with Evers. She even described you. She trapped him? She wanted to know if the deal was okay with me. Why? Why, Amy? Why did you do it? That's all I'm asking. Why did you do it? Amy? Amy, where are you going? Amy, come back here. Now, you wait just a minute, young lady. Now, look, I want to know all about this. When I took care of Mr. McGregor, I brought him milk at night. I sat up with him. You were proud. You said it showed where my heart was. Well, I don't see what this has to do with Nothing's anything. Nothing's the we're... same anymore. You and Mom have changed. Marie's father's sick. He can't work. And I asked Vince to cash in the driving contract for food and medicine. Well, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you come to me for it? Because Mom is always so suspicious about everything. She'd be on the phone asking questions, and Mr. Costa would know it was charity. Well, I didn't realize. I mean, you brought this out of left field. I just wanted to spend a few days at Maria's to help, to let him get some rest. I even asked Miss Dale. I told her I'd do anything to make it up, but she wouldn't even listen to me. Life started so right. Maybe I should stop hoping that while I could go on that way. Amy, I don't like to hear you talk like this. I just went to the beach and went swimming. It kept going on. Amy! Dad, I can't help it. I think about it all the time. I think about what a relief it would be for everybody. Don't you ever, ever believe such a thing. Now, if your problems seem too big for you, remember, they're not too big for me. There's much, you know, I can't handle. Then you could do it. You could write a note to Miss Dale. Well, of course. <laughs> so, who loves Amy tonight, huh? <sighs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that surprise dinner of yours, huh? <laughs> daughter named Amy Sims? Yes, I do. I think we've got to have a talk. That's some little actress you've got there. Carlos, I've got to know where Amy is. I know. Well, I'm her friend, too. He'll call. When? I don't know when. When he finds out. I don't understand this. I just don't understand it at all. I don't know when it started. Maybe for excitement. We had time after school. We had nothing to do. And the shopping malls were just a place we could go. 
But Amy had an allowance. We bought her everything. Well, maybe if Amy had earned it. She needed something else. I don't know, like a, like a challenge. She needed something to look up to, a way to give what she had to give. And the shopping malls, they just, you know, they had sweaters and, and sandals and, and lipsticks. And it didn't seem wrong. It was like a, like a game. It was like a test. How long? I mean, when did all this start? Uh, two or three years ago. Uh, Lifesavers, candy bars it changed as we got older. A little shoplifting, breaking into houses, partying. What next? Narcotics? Dear God. No. Why? Look. I'm sorry that my father is sick. But in a way, it's, it's good for me. I feel as if I have something to give. Amy doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He doesn't know. Doesn't know where they went. Maria, Maria, she said the pier, uh, the boat lift. an update on that high-speed chase through the Fairmont foothills. Police have released the name of the driver killed when his car went out of control. Vincent Evers, aged 19, of West Fontana, died on his way to the hospital. Police reports indicate that narcotics were involved. We'll have more details for you on the 10 o'clock news. It wasn't my fault. Vince lied to me. I know the truth, Amy. You see, I took those pictures.
Sure. Maria's lying, the police are lying. Your Aunt Mary is lying about you phoning her about your mother? Dad, if I could just go away somewhere. There's a school in no, Montana. No, Amy. You're staying here. Right here. I can't mean that. Oh, I do mean it, Amy. Maybe I never treated you as a child should be treated. I tried to buy those adorable little smiles, those smiles that told me I uh, was a good man, a good daddy. Dad. But there's going to be some changes, Amy. Deep ones. I will, Dad. I will. Or those pictures go to the police. Daddy, no. It'll be out of your hands and mine. Unless what? Unless you start playing it straight with your mother and me. Now, from now on, if you ever associate with users, pushers, suppliers, or use anything yourself, you're going to do that time. Then it's all been a lie. You don't love me. You never did. Oh, no, Amy, I do love you. That's why I'm willing to blow you out of a way of life that's destroying you. How can you say that? I'll say it forever. But I can't protect you from making your own bad decisions. Then you didn't believe me when I told you how I felt? About not wanting to live! You didn't come after me. I had to take that chance. I can love you, and I can hurt for you, but I can't live your life for you. Thank you. 